No, no, no. Hi, hi, hello, yeah. Oh. I don't know what I'm doing. But what I do know is that the party at Will has arrived. I'm a small bean. Okay, but on a real note, today we are going to be doing dupes versus the real thing in this video. So yeah. Okay, okay, that's enough said and done. Let's get on to the makeup. Come on. I did break the bank on this, so um, if you want, you can like it. I'm not forcing you. Okay, I'm gonna use this trusty marker with a lash on the side of it. I don't know what that's doing there. Yeah, you, that's gross. So guys, I'm gonna draw a line down the middle of my face. This is gonna be the dupe side. This is gonna be the real side. Yeah. Yeah, that's like what you want to know. I'm not good with lines. Okay, I look like Simba. All right, yeah, that's, that's, I don't think Simba looks like this, actually. It's across the fort. All right, guys, the first item is bronzing drops versus Lumi Glotion drops. I'm so, so, so excited because I, like, I've heard these two things are very similar, and let's see if the cheaper side looks better. <laughs> All right, guys, first, we're going in with the Drunk Elephant bronzing drops. I haven't used these in a while, so, yeah, let's see. I'm using about this much, a little too much. Oh, God, yeah, this is definitely something. Don't, don't take offense to this. It will blend out. It will blend out, hopefully. Uh, oh God. Guys, this is not working out as I planned. Yeah, I did not know it would look like this. So I'm gonna cheat the system a little. We're going in with this. You guys, it has the CeraVe moisturizer in it. So it's fine, right? Like it's fine. Okay guys, I'll see y'all when this is all blended out. Okay guys, this is pretty much all blended out. I look um sus, I look sus. That's, that's the word I'm gonna use. So now I'm gonna go in with a dupe for the bronzing drops, guys. I am really nervous because right now these bronzing drops are not looking too good. These are 10 times darker and I'm kind of looking for it. Hopefully they blend out better because God. Oh my gosh, guys, this blended out 10 times Times better. Do y'all see that? Maybe, maybe it's because it's new. This blew it out 15 times better. Yeah, th this is this is better. All right, guys. The next item is the Elf Power Grip Primer versus the Milk Hydra Grip Primer. So let's go. I am a little nervous because last time the dupe won, and I'm like, hold on. I've been spending my money on stupid things when I can literally buy cheaper things. Like, hold the phone. Hold the phone. All right, guys. I'm going in with the Elf first. Oh, I almost pumped it on backwards. That would have been bad. Yeah, it's taking a while. <laughs> All right, there we go, there we go. Oh, there we go. All right, let's rub it in, see how it looks. All right, guys, I do like how like sticky it is. I really like it because I feel like it really grips on, if you know what I mean. <laughs> All right, guys, now I'm gonna go in with the Milk Hydra Grip Primer. Hopefully this is better because I spent a fortune on it. Let's try this. Oh, I do like the pump better than the other pump. I just like how it's in a bottle, not like a squeezy tube. A lot of people disagree with that, but I kind of like it better. All right, guys, all the primers done, and I think that the Milk Hydra Grip Primer won this time because it is just a lot smoother and stickier. I just like it a lot better. Honestly, I, I like it. Right now, I look like a bronze goddess. Don't worry, guys. It'll get better. It'll get better. All right, guys. Next, we have the Elf Halo Glow versus the... No, I don't know what it's called. Uh, the, the Charlotte Tilbury Olives Filter. God, why am I forgetting all the names? I'm a failure in life, aren't I? Yeah, I am. Okay, guys. Hopefully, this makes everything feel a lot better because right now, I look really weird and I'm not here for it. So, we're going to go in with the Flawless Filter first because I really hope that this looks better. Oh, it just got in my sweat pants awesome yeah that's that's just amazing isn't it i added like the whole face to it and now let's add the elf oh hey hello a glow i do like the name a lot better halo glow like it just is really nice i think i got pretty much matching shades they're a little dark for me but hey hey like hey just say hello i'm um, sorry my voice is so good i might just get copyrighted all right guys i'm gonna blend in the elf halo glow first guys the elf halo glow is all blended out and i feel like it's really pretty but a little too oily for me so now let's blend out the uh, flawless filter whatever it's called all right guys this is slaying the day slaying the day on 500 percent i honestly this is sad because i really wish i could go to the dupe but i like the flawless filter better i don't know i like it a lot better guys i, I do i seriously do i like it okay yeah, hate, hate on me for all I care. Hey girl, the next zoop is the elf versus the Charlotte Tilbury. I know, I'm a Charlotte Tilbury fan and an elf fan. So let's just get into it, girl. How about that? I am so excited because I have not tried out this elf contour stick yet. So, oh, it's a little, a little slippery. <laughs> yeah, gonna use our teeth. Let's see. Whoa, 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 chill, chill. It's pooping its pants, as you can see. But yeah, all right, let's put this on. 
Oh my gosh, it's literally the same shade as my Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, okay, we're eating, it's eating. It ain't left no crumbs, if, if you will. <laughs> All right guys, now the Charlotte Tilbury. I really like this stuff, so I don't know if it can beat the Elf, but this is a little lighter than the Elf, so let's blend these out. First, I'm gonna blend out the Elf because, you know, that's what I do, that's what I do, okay? Uh, oh girl, this this formula is, is formulaine. I like it a lot, this looks really good. All right guys, I'm blending out the Charlotte Tilbury side. This kind of disappears into the sponge so i don't really know how i feel i look like really tan that's the thing guys and i don't like how unnatural i look right now because right now i just look like a i look like sauce i look sauce okay guys i think i've made a decision but i think that elf wins this round because the formula is super nice and shiny and the shell tilbury is just not my cup of tea if you will yeah let's go into the next item it's blush time i'm gonna play the drums um, blah, 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 blah. all right guys i'm going in with the rare beauty versus the elf um their new blush stick but i can see that my black line is smearing it's making me have very bad ocd i'm really excited to try this because i've heard great things about it that it is a very nice date for the it's not opening it's choosing <laughs> it's choosing the devil side today but guys i'm gonna go in with this rare beauty first i personally love rare beauty i love the inspo behind it it's just an amazing brand let's blend this baby out you can't see it, can you? We're going in with more because this bronzer is taking over and it's really making me mad because, like, I don't know, this bronzer is really sad. <laughs> Yeah. All right, guys, it's a lot better. I still can't open this. I'm about to say words I shouldn't say. <laughs> All right, let's see the applicator. It's kind of like the Rare Beauty applicator. Oh, wow, this is pigmented, really pigmented. I can tell that they really tried to copy a fellow friend. It's like, hey, hey, I feel like I should copy you. Oh, yeah. No, you can't. Okay, well, I am. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's really pigmented. But I don't know if anybody can win against Selena. Beauty in the base. Beauty in the base. Guys, these blushes look really good, guys. And I don't know what one to choose. Pigmented-wise, this. Formula-wise, this. So we're going to play rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Looks like Selena one. Yep, slay girl. No, my favorite step. Concealer. It's going to lighten everything up because we look a little too dark right now. Don't you think? L look at my arm compared to my face. Yeah, yeah. Look at this arm compared to this side. Yeah, exactly. So, slow. Uh, yeah, we're going to go with some concealer. So, first, this is the Hourglass Concealer. I've heard really good things about it. Oh, God. Yeah, this formula is amazing. I've heard that it creases sometimes, but nothing... Not, that, nothing you can't fix, so. Yeah, and I also love the packaging on this. It's really pretty. Next is the Sephora concealer. It's only $11 or $13, something like, like that. So nowhere close to the $40, $50 I paid for the Hourglass, but still, Hourglass formula uh, is my holy grail. But so far, these look the exact same, and I can tell where y'all were like, this is a do. Like, this looks exactly the same. We're gonna have to see, because we're gonna have to blend it out. So yeah, let's do that. Um, Anyways, where my sponge go? Mm -hmm. Here it is. All right, guys, we're blending this out for our last side. I don't normally add concealer down here. I just really need to lighten this out. All right, guys, this side's all blended out, and low-key, it looks kind of good. This The concealer saved the whole look. Let's blend out the Sephora side, and let's see how it looks. What's farting? What's farting over there? All right, guys, I got all the sides blended out and low key, the Sephora side's eating, but also the Hourglass side's eating more. I don't know what to say, guys. Already, this side's creasing a little more than this side. So I think I might have to go with the Sephora side. It's literally so cheap. And also it's a lot, the formula is really nice too. I just don't like the one as much. I'm gonna have to go with Sephora for this round. All right, guys, my favorite step of all my makeup routine is powder. I'm going in with the Huda Beauty powder versus the Maybelline Fit Me powder. I've heard a lot of controversy between these two because they're the exact same except for they're like $30 different. Let's see. And also guys, the packaging looks the exact same. So this is a little lighter, but it's fine. Okay guys, first I'm going in with a Huda Beauty powder. I love this powder so much. It like literally makes you look like a doll, like a, like a porcelain doll. It's so good guys, I love it. <laughs> Yes, slay. Eats as usual. Let's try the Maybelline Fit Me. I am scared to try this because it is a little yellow, but it doesn't look yellow on the skin, so. All right, you guys. Both powders are done powdering the face. I think I have to go with Miss Huda because this side is just looking a lot better. I don't know if that's just me or you, but yeah, feel free to comment. But like, I, I like this side better, so yeah. Okay, guys, the next tube is the Hula Bronzer with the Physics Formula Bronzer. I'm really excited to try this because I've heard this smells exactly like the beach. Oh, hold on. Hold the phone. I'm in love. Oh my gosh, it comes with a thing. Oh, this is already 
one in my heart. Guys, I'm gonna use the thing that it came with because like apparently it wants you to. It's like a creamy substance. Yeah, um, yeah, that's dark. That's definitely dark, but hold the phone. Please hold the phone. I'm gonna fill it out with my brush because I don't want it. Why is it, why is it not moving? Why, move please. I thought I liked you until you didn't move. Don't tell me you have to fill out powder with a beauty blender. Guys, uh, I really thought I liked this. All right, guys, that's all blended out. Now I'm gonna go in with the Hula bronzer. I look like so bronzed up right now, guys. I'm sorry. Like y'all are probably disgusted with how I look right now. I'm not like James Charles good, okay? But guys, the physics formula isn't even blended. It doesn't blend. It doesn't blend. Like, hello? Would you blend? Yeah, you won't? Okay, yeah, thanks. Thanks a lot. All right, guys, the next tube is the Patrick Ta blush. She's a doll or she's that girl versus the Sephora a blush. I am really excited because this is like a $40 difference. So first let's go in with the Patrick Ta blush. This blush is, it's amazing. It stays on all day long. It's really pigmented. As you can tell, it's amazing. But let's see the Sephora blush because I've heard great things about this. I tried to get the exact shade match. Hopefully hopefully it's a good shade match. So it's actually really hard to put on. Alrighty. All automatically Patrick Ta already won. Like this is not building up as I want it to. I don't really like it. Patrick Ta won. My camera died. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'll be back momentarily. Yeah, that's embarrassing for me. A few moments later. So apparently the Dior highlighter is a, not a dupe. The Revlon highlighter is a dupe for the Dior highlighter. So let's try it out. So first I'm going on with the Dior highlighter, this shade right here. I'm just going in on it with this side of my nose, right here on the cheek, right in the inner corner, only a little though. All right, now I'm gonna use the Revlon highlighter. I'm really excited for this. Oh yeah, this, this is really good guys. It's literally so good. All right, now cheek, don't even tell me that's one swatch guys that's amazing okay all righty all right yep revlon wins all the way do you see the shine that's amazing okay guys i couldn't really find a do for the charlotte tilbury setting spray because the milani one was sold out so i'm gonna use this just for my full face <laughs> all right guys last but not least mascara so I'm using the Benefit Roller Lash versus the Telescopic Mascara. I'm very excited to use this because Alex Earl uses it and it's very good. All right, you guys, I'm gonna curl my lashes. I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I curled that lash. We're going in with the Benefit Roller Lash. Whoa, that lifted so nicely. Do y'all not see that? Cause I see it. I'm automatically in love. And for that being one coat, give me a break. All right guys, now we're going to curl this lash. Let's see what it looks like. Ah. All right, you guys, we're going in with telescopic mascara. I am a fan of this mascara since it came out. Oh my gosh, yes. This is so good guys. I'm obsessed. Telescopic one guys, I have to say it. Telescopic one. Wait, I have one more dupe. I am doing the e.l.f. versus the Dior. Okay, first e.l.f. I've heard amazing things about this guys. So it, the wand is amazing. It tastes just like the Dior. Amazing, it's amazing. All right guys, now the actual Dior one. I am really, I haven't used this in a while, but it's the applicator is amazing. Guys, why isn't it shining? Hello? Hello? Where, where are we doing it? Once again. Hello? Why isn't it showing up guys? That's like making me mad. But I just realized that this is like coming off at the top and this isn't. So it still wins though. I look bald. Okay, you guys, I think both sides look the exact same. So y'all are gonna have to vote for me. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the high end side. This is the high end side. It's so nice. It's really glowy, really pretty actually. I really like it. And this is the dupe side. Yeah, that's that's pretty nice too, honestly. I like it a lot better. I do. That's not up to me, it's up to y'all. So yeah, yeah, go ahead, comment down below. Tell me what's better. Yeah, the Spreading Spears. Yeah. yeah. I feel like if I didn't have a black line through the middle, maybe it'll look better. But yeah, I love y'all so, so, so much. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below what shine is better. Turn on those post notifications so you can get a notification every time I post a new video. I love y'all so much, and I hope y'all have the best day ever. Peace out, bro. Shotgun!